that uh, the jury is still out. The decision has not been made. People voted, and people overwhelmingly voted for change. They overwhelmingly voted for this candidate, and this candidate is ready to assume office at the appropriate time. Mr. Munangagwa was defeated in this election, and as I will indicate, we are urging him to accept that defeat and to be honorable enough, patriotic enough, and humble enough, revolutionary enough to accept the will of the people. Yes, we must not be intimidated by anyone from anyone. We are masters of our destiny, and we are only liberated. For that reason, we have to make sure that we stand on our guard to defend our vote within the confines of peace. Without being intimidated, change does not come easy. The darkest hour is before dawn. We knew that we're going to go through this valley of unhappiness, the valley of persecution. But ultimately, the summit of victory is going to be reached. And we're almost there. Yes, we know that without the change that we want, we are going to fall back again into intolerable, intolerable poverty, suffering for the next five years. Even in that case, we do not want to go back to a situation where we wait for another five years <coughs> by those who are seeking to subvert your will. There is no guarantee that if we wait for the next five years, Zimbabweans in the rural areas who are totally under captivity and slavery are going to be free then. We need to remove all the challenges and obstacles to free and fair elections now. And this is why we are challenging some of the issues in court, but also we are going to pursue a political program to make sure that we liberate people in the rural areas. They have not tested independence. For the past 38 years, people in the rural areas have been subjected to captivity. And 